Get it. It's the TMI show. We're <laughs> back. I had some soda uh, eruptions. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. We have our two guests in the studio. Please welcome to the show Adam Jones Kelly and Sue Jones Kelly. Welcome. Come on over here. And just so everyone knows, Sue is spelled S-O-O, and that's S-U-E. I was confused. Like I was confused earlier. Yes. I think that... I'm I, sorry. Uh, yeah, I was. I was going to say so. She she was expecting it. It's so not it Sue. Sue. It is. Is her mic on? It sounds very low to yeah, me. Yeah, she's on. The, the, the funny Good thing is the people that, that want to call it so but can't quite figure out the extra O, and so they just <laughs> drag it out like so. <laughs> like, and there's a question mark at the end. Did your parents? Did, they, did, they? Ha- did your parents drag <laughs> things out and they accidentally named you Sue and they meant so? Yeah. You want to? We, I thought you were named after the Peter Gabriel album. You gotta get right on that mic, so soon. Yeah, right. I got it. You got it. I'm on it. Speak. Test. Rough. Yeah, much better. Much better. She's feeling rough today. That's okay. Pretty- now the reason I have Adam and Sue on Sue. is that the, uh, Adam writes this great travel blog. I mean, he's traveled uh, what 71 different countries. Yes, sir. And I mean, they're very funny. You're a great writer, and they're very entertaining. And He started talking to me about some of the stories and things he's seen, and I'm like, oh, my God, you have to come on the show. Um, So before we get to any of your travel experiences, I mean, you travel because you – for work, right? I do. I do. I'm very lucky. And you've met some prime ministers and leaders around the world, but screw that. Let's talk about about how you met Sue. This is a great story. So you met through a mutual friend. Yeah, sort of. Much, Much to his chagrin. Okay, yeah, so this, tell tell me what happened. Uh, this guy rang me up on a Thursday morning. You know, the nightclub in town, Via, which shut down, I think, last year. They used to do a, a nightclub night on Wednesdays. So he rang me up Thursday morning just beside himself. He said, Adam, I was at this, uh, this club last night dancing with this girl, and it was amazing, and she's awesome, and she's going to be my girlfriend. you got to find her on Facebook and send her a friend request. She's going to be my girlfriend. That's it. No, no question about this. <laughs> <laughs> that was a small erection you just played. <laughs> Okay. So not see, mine. <laughs> not mine either. Oh, okay. Totally mine. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I, I send her a note, and I'm like, you know, I hear you're going to be dating my buddy Derek. Congratulations. I'm sure I'll see you around. So Derek, how long have you been seeing Derek at this point? Not at all. <laughs> oh, my God. He announced to the, his friend, be friends with my future girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's kind of jumping the gun, huh? So she she emails me back three days later and just says, I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> that's that's how we started talking. Wow. And, and then, then I got retarded from there. We, um, you know, she, she's obviously gorgeous, you know, and, and I'm a guy and I'm, I'm shameless. And she even had a live-in boyfriend, but I didn't care. I just was looking for my in. And, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, you he was scandalous. A live-in boyfriend and this other guy thought he had a relationship with you? Well, I was single at that time. Like okay. Since then. Oh, Okay. Like when, when we started talking, cause we didn't. It wasn't like immediately we started talking. We right. become Facebook friends, and you know, the right. odd comment now and again. So when we actually start communicating, she's got the live-in bo- boyfriend. But she sent me a note and said, "Look, I've just been laid off from uh, from this high tech job she had. We take a look at my resume." Mm-hmm. And I'm like, "Ooh, <laughs> stereotypical." <laughs> yeah. with a yes, I job. will. <laughs> no matter what it looks like, I'm finding problems. <laughs> yes. Does your resume come with pictures? So uh, that kind of resume. So the resume, resume was perfect, of course. But I'm like, oh, yeah, I found some stuff. We should definitely get together and talk about this. Mm-hmm. And we scheduled lunch. And then I showed up for lunch, and I was massively hungover. I don't know how I was standing up <laughs> upright. The, so the first of many hungover lunches you've had with Adam, I'm guessing. Yes. Embarrassingly. <laughs> yes. So I don't even remember the lunch. I was aware that it could not have gone well because I couldn't remember it. So I, I oh knew there's no God. way I'd made a good impression. So about a week later, I send her another note, and I'm like, you know, I found a couple more things in her resume. Also complete fiction. Her resume is perfect. And I'm like, let's have lunch again. And she said, okay, but this time I'm picking the place. And she picked a pho place. Real real close to you guys on Buford Highway here. Uh Uh-huh. And, you know, Sue's Korean. She likes her food real spicy. Mm. I'm I'm a man and stupid and wanted to prove I could keep up. So I just spiced the stuff right along with her. And you I added thought, more to the oh, actually yeah. already spicy oh, yeah. food. <laughs> like, let's see how manly I yeah. can be. I can take whatever spice you throw at me. Holy crap, this is way too spicy. I'm Puerto Rican. What? I can probably handle that stuff. But I don't uh, know I'm not sure. I, my brain's on Sue on this one. <laughs> so your throat sure was on fire? Won. Yeah, I thought I was going to die. My throat seized up. I mean, Ooh. my nose, I didn't know there was this much liquid in my body. Oh, my God. Things um, started man. dripping oh, out? Oh, dear God. It was, I mean. Really? It, it was almost a, 
it was so over the top, you'd think it, it couldn't be real. I mean, and I had this pile of tissue on the table for blowing my nose. Or, and it wasn't just blowing my nose. I mean, it's like oh, awful. And Sue is thinking, wow. Yeah. <laughs> and Sue is thinking, wow, that's hot. Yeah. Really I like hot. this guy. I like a guy that drools. Yeah. Oh, my God. Let's fast forward a quick second. The next day when you went to the restroom, was it hot and the other coming out the other end? Yeah. I, I don't remember that. I really? Think my, I think my shame outweighed any other oh concerns God. at that Ooh. point. So, Sue, what are you thinking when you're seeing this guy? He's eating this stuff. He's obviously having a really tough time with it. Were you just laughing at him? When I got to the car, I was like, oh, my God, what a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> him or you for going out with him? Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> if you didn't, if that you that didn't see that on the radio, time. she pointed yeah. at, at him. Yeah. Yeah. At that particular time, him. Yeah. You weren't talking to yourself. You are talking about him. Like, wow. What a macho guy. But you had to give him credit, though. He was trying. So it was hot. It was hot, literally and figuratively Ooh. and mentally. Wow. So, okay, so that planted the seed of, wow, this guy is willing to go to all yeah. ends of the, the taste spectrum to impress me. He, like, hurt himself. I yeah. Did. I did. <laughs> you really did. I know. That's I mean, love right there. Took one you, for the team. That's right. I guess you weren't expecting a kiss after that because your mouth was on fire. You probably couldn't feel anything anyway. You're numb. Yeah, I had no spit left in my <sighs> mouth, and it all leaked out my nose. So <laughs> <laughs> the opposite of hot, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, God. So, so okay, so that was the first meeting, and then did you go out of town after that? Well, no, that you was had another after, after, date after that. Between the hang- that wasn't even really a date because she still had the live-in boyfriend, and it, yeah, it was, it was just, just me, kind of a yeah. yeah. Your resume needs help. Mm, let's yeah. go out. Mm. Yeah, it was just me being mm. pathetic. But I, after that, I realized I was done because between the hangover and and this, I was like, okay, I got no shot. So I, you know, on Thursday nights, a uh, bunch of my buddies and I used to go up to Crown and Anchor Pub for for trivia night, and I was like, we'll have a crowd if you want to come good. by, you know. That's good. A crowd because yep. you're not less threatening. No spicy, specifically spicy food there. So, of More course, I made it worse the next time we hung out. Oh, nope. boy. Yeah. Oh, wait. You had a couple beverages and couple. some clothing was removed? What was. happened? The, the, wow. When she showed up at you know, Murphy's Law, when she showed up, the air conditioning had stopped working at the, the pub. Oh, so man. it was miserable hot, and oh, I wound man. up a little toasty and stood standing on the table with my pants off. Oh, my God. And somehow and, that combination worked. And, Sue, when he had his pants off, were you looking at the package? Were you trying to evaluate I was thinking, man, I need those undies. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. They weren't tidy whities were they? No. Godness, shame on you. Boxers? (laughs) Boxer (laughs) briefs, something? Definitely boxers. Something nice? That's good, too. Who wears tidy whities anymore, you know? You know, skid marks are never attractive. I stopped wearing tidy whities when I was, like, eight. I know, me, too. I think I started wearing boxers. I was at least Freedom. Freedom for the boys. (laughs) So you are... uh, Yes, hi. Um, <laughs> he always throws me off. He stands up behind me. So, okay. So you had a, you had this connection there. You had this charisma. You had this connection on your second date. And what happened next? Uh, oh, that I was leaving town. I mean, I, I was totally into her at this point. And I could, right. tell, I could tell she liked me, but she still had this, this minor problem of right. the living boyfriend. And uh, I was headed to Asia for a month and uh, said, look, I'll be gone a month. When I get back, get rid of the boyfriend. <laughs> And I came back and sent me a text and said, okay, I'm single. Wait, so you're going out of town. You say her, <laughs> say to her, when I get back, the boyfriend should be gone. Yes. What do you think of that, Ron? Wow, was that, how, was that how you said it? Yeah. Wow. Did that, did that work for you? He's always bossy. But that's going after what you want. I mean. I think that you call that the daddy stroke. You just tell a woman what you want her to do. And sometimes it works, sometimes it I does not wait work. Wait a minute. You can, I'm, I'm, we have to talk about that later. Because <laughs> I saw some posts that... Uh, that was from a movie. No, no, no. The, you that uh, you have moved on, but maybe you... Oh, yeah, we're going to talk about that Yeah, okay. Uh, so we'll go. relationship we'll, stuff. Okay, we'll go with that I want to focus on our guests. <laughs> okay. So that's pretty cool. So you, were, you went out of town, and you said, okay, this guy means business. So what happened on your end? Um... Yes, we can go with Adam's story. Yes, I got rid of the boyfriend because of him. It was already. Yeah. It was already. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, no, no, no! So <laughs> come on. It wasn't going well already, and it was right. kind of like the straw. You're like, you know what? This guy has really something going on. I mean, he can't take spicy food. He gets naked at <laughs> a moment's yes. notice. He can't hold his liquor. I want him. Absolutely. It's I mean, a winning he's combination. He's going to be a lot of fun. He's going to be more fun than whoever you had at home. Yeah. I'm going with more fun if he's in the bar and he's not wearing pants. Yes. This guy has got to be a ton of fun. 
Yeah. He's the Thank only you. guy on a table wearing no pants to be like, I want to drink a beer with that guy. He's I, not wearing it. I have a feeling she got a flashlight out and aimed it right at those fitted boxers and like, let's see the package. I can see an outline of nice penis there. So Uh-oh. I think that's worth investigating. Justin, if that were the case, that would have been the lead story. What you, <laughs> he would have started to, it out that yeah. way. What are you trying to say? You're Irish? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm very white. I do the best I can with what I got. But you, you, you're, you like to drink. You like your alcoholic beverages. So what's, your, what's your background? Uh, I'm half German. Half German? Uh, Oddly aha. enough, I don't like beer, though. So I'm, I'm really? like, I'm don't like a retarded like German. A man who does not you're, like You're a Polish-German? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, do dr- what do you drink? Vodka. Oh, uh, you maybe you're part Russian. Yeah. Oh, that's offensive too. Oh, wow, man, this is going all over the place. <laughs> with, with Adam Jones, Kelly Jones, I thought you were Irish, and c- goes with the drinking, but apparently not. Hmm. hmm. I'm I'm perplexed. So, um, we're gonna. I have one more question to ask. Um, oh, actually, no. Well, so you you got together. You came back home. You kind of you said we're gonna go out, and it wasn't just boyfriend and girlfriend right away. It was like, <clears throat> let's go out, and things went. Work. How fast? How fast was it? It's pretty quick. Really? It's pretty quick. Really? I told her within a month of our dating that I was going to marry her. Wow. And what did you what did you think of that, Sue? Would you want to sue him? I for laughed. Defamy? You laughed? <laughs> she yes. laughed, but I noticed she's still wearing a ring That's on her issues. finger. Yes. I laughed. I was like, God, this guy really is crazy. <laughs> yeah, this, this, is this is a man after my own heart now, right here. This is a personal <laughs> question. This is before or after you had slept together? Well, after. After, I yeah. think. You, you got to take it for a test drive. Yeah. That's right, see? The tires. <laughs> That's right. Check out now, the car before you buy it. <laughs> uh, before we go to break, I have to ask, behind closed doors, have you ever looked in his eyes and said, me love you, long time? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Have you ever said that? Wow. You must have said that. I could have once when I was really drunk. Yeah. I, mu- I bet. And what is your definition of long time? Because three minutes, me, no. Well, that's no, my we definition. We run a marathon sometimes. Ooh! <laughs> wow, a marathon. All that's right. like six minutes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Wow. So, um, me like to talk to you for a long time. So we'll be right back <laughs> after a song or two with the TMI show, Adam and Sue and Rowan Justin.